Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS rate on all the games or your PlayStation, regular PlayStation. But before we start, what type of PlayStation do you have? Do you have the PlayStation that you bought in 2013 or 2014? What I mean is the regular PlayStation, the fat one, or do you have the PlayStation Slim or the Pro? Uh, why does it matter? Because the normal PlayStation that you bought in 2013 will be slower and will be like just slower FPS. But I'm gonna fix it right now. I'm gonna show you three steps or four steps how to fix this problem and let's begin. So the first thing what you want to check. The first thing what you want to check is friends. <clears throat> the reason why is a lot of friends if you have like over 200 friends you will have lag on your PlayStation so what you want to do is just select a friend or a friend that you don't know don't play with just a random friend that you just added or something like that just delete some friends till you are lower than 200 now I'm going to show you step number two. What you want to do is go to settings, go to storage. <coughs> Once you're in storage, you want to go to captured gallery or applications. The reason why is um, a lot of memory will cause FPS lag too. That's why, and we can increase our FPS by just deleting a lot of captured files or applications that you don't need So what we want to do here is select Just options and Then you want to press delete Once you press that you will get it like an option to select them all and delete them all at once Go to delete and just press OK. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm just showing you examples how to do it. Uh, it's same like on the applications port, just press delete by pressing options. Now let's go to step number three. Step number three, go to network. Now, this will help you around in online games. You, if you will increase your FPS in online games, what I'm gonna show you right now. First thing what you want to do is test your internet connection. You first want to check our internet connection, how good is it? Like you see guys, my Wi-Fi is pretty much enough to play a online game. It won't have really lag issues if I play right now with uh, 15 Mbps. But I'm gonna show you some ways how to even get better Wi-Fi or Mbps. Now, if you have a LAN cable, you can use LAN cable. And it will give you a lot, four times better internet connection than Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna prove it right now. Not really four times better, it depends like on time. Like you see guys, my Mbps increased to almost 40. But if you don't have a LAN cable or you're too far away from your LAN cable or you don't want to use a LAN cable, what you want to do is just use Wi-Fi. I'm just going back to Wi-Fi now. Set up internet connection, Wi-Fi. And now you want to use custom. Sure. 
choose your internet, your personal internet. On here, you want to use automatic, do not specify. And now on Vienna settings, you want to use manual. Now, here comes the important part. You want to use this DNS code. But by the way guys, if this DNS code doesn't work for you, it actually depends on the country where you live. So, in my country, this DNS code works. And with my country, I mean Belgium. You need to fill it in on the primary DNS and the secondary DNS on both of them. <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you another DNS code too. It's one dot one dot one or two. But this DNS code doesn't really work in my country, so that pretty much sucks. But you can also use this DNS code too. You can just try to use this. Maybe you get better internet connection. You don't know. Next. Automatic. And do not use. Now, the internet settings updated. But like I said guys, one dark, one dark, one this doesn't really work on my country. Like you see guys, my connection speed download got a little bit um, down and the connection speed upload got a little bit up. It depends on the country where you live on. Maybe it doesn't work for you, but you can always try. Now, if it doesn't work for you, even like if you even get like more bad internet connection, you can just go ahead and delete that DNS code out of your PlayStation by going back to Wi-Fi and doing easy. <coughs> Choose your internet. Now you are not using that DNS code again, so you're on 0 dark 0 dark 0, no DNS codes. Like you see guys? Without that one dark one dark one, my connection speed download got a little bit up, but my connection speed upload got down to 178 kbps. That's pretty much low. But now I'm gonna show you a other way how you can increase your FPS or fix your FPS issue. On online games or regular single player games so the first thing what you want to do now is on step 4 you want to go to messages and on messages you want to delete all of your messages the reason why is this can cause a lot of problems too with your lag or something like that and now on step 5 you want to go to notification and delete them, all of them. Just press delete, you can press like all of them and just you want to delete all of them. On the uh, messages one, you just want to press start and then leave. Or just on here, leave, you want to leave them all. So guys, these are the steps how to get better internet connection so your FPS increases or uh, how to increase your FPS on single player games.
it's pretty much easy to do but by the way guys if you experience more problems with your FPS you can go to the community error fix and query we will help you around with these type of problems regular PlayStation problems and we already have like 1400 members in like three or four months I created this community like four months ago and it got like a lot of members right now you can always join this and ask someone to get help by the way guys thanks for watching Please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Did it work for you or did it it? Or tell me what's the issue. Things like that. Thanks for watching guys. Take care of yourself and goodbye.